So Maria, you have this really, really fascinating story that I, I understand that started from Genghis Khan being a boyish, uh, you know, person uh, who was not revealed as a girl to the rest of the vicinity, and you've knocked out boys being a boy, and then becoming a weightlifter, you gained so much of strength, and then got fascinated with uh, squash. Then your father saw probably that was the way out to get you out of trouble. Uh, because uh, you were, uh, you know, just like any other boy in that particular uh, age group would be, you know, getting into different kinds of fights. Uh, you basically were, you know, pushed into the squash court uh, so that you can actually take your anger out or whatever strength you have that can be vented out on that, uh, on, on the court itself. That is that is really really fascinating. But what is going on now? Uh, you have, I believe, you have a foundation that you're running. At the same time, uh, you are practicing squash, uh, based in Toronto. But I think yeah, even right now, you represent Pakistan. Uh, you know, on the global stage. Is that correct? Uh, I'm in Toronto. Yes. Um, well, I'm not playing squash professionally anymore. Um, just, you know. Um, I had a lot of physical issues with my like injuries and stuff, um, which healed. But you know, I just right now I'm more focusing on staying pain free and stay active and healthy. But also, I established this um, foundation, Maria Torbeki Foundation. It's based in the states uh, in New York, uh, and we have a wonderful staff uh, board, and we are working on a lot of initiatives related to girls and women in sports and health. And edu the kind of education that I feel that it's very important. It's more about self-awareness and well-being, and um, because that's the beginning of uh, a awakening for any individual or society. When we play sports, and whether we are well aware of ourselves, and that 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 can make us more responsible. And that's the thing right now. Uh, if we have responsible citizens and responsible humans, we won't see that much of trouble in the world and issues. So. Coming from Waziristan, we always suffered in war and uh, operations or terrorism and extremism. Uh, and I know that my own self, uh, I had so much energy and my energy was channelized in a very positive way. So sports is the best medium to, uh, to transform individuals and societies. I believe that. And I believe that peace is possible, progress is possible. And the foundation is working on an initiative. It's called Peace Through Sports. Uh, that's one of our initiatives. I want a lot uh, youth, young people play sports um, and learn about this, themselves, but especially girls and women, uh, because it gives them a lot of strength. Last time when we were doing a camp in Peshawar, uh, you know, that was the time uh, that was, I remember that, that that's the place where I was the only girl playing sports. And now there are 27 girls playing squash and many other girl, many girls started playing sports in, in Peshawar. So it's a huge change. And a lot of people, uh, parents, they came to me and they were like, they want their daughters like me. They want their daughters to play sports. It was very uh, encouraging and very, uh, um, you know, uh, happy to see that. So that change is coming that I was waiting for too long. Um, and uh, I, I know that Pakistan is on this um, uh, on this path to progress right now and um, uh, the girls when they got on squash court with me and they stretched and lunged to the, to get the ball they were like we did not be we did not know we can do that so it's a huge boost in their in their strength and in their personality or confidence right so um, sports is some is sports is not just a physical activity or it's not just exertion of you know like um, uh, of uh, you know, s or like sweat or you know, or getting tired, but it's more than that. It touches your soul. It 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 uh, it uh, it wakes you up from inside, and we need that spiritual side today to wake us up. Just like prayers, you know, every prayer, every religion has their prayer and the way they do pray. Some people do yoga. Some people do pray like us. When the Muslim people do, right? There are all different ways, and I think those for me. Um, uh, uh, sports is like worship and w it's, it's again Pope Francis just he said this is the best quote that I like he said uh, the way we try hard or the way we challenge ourselves in sport if we start challenging ourselves in life the world will be a better place well 
in fact, that is, that is uh, uh, something very inspirational and especially very important when, when you say that, you know, sports became a reason, a way for you to explore yourself in the best possible way that you could. Well, there, there's one thing that I want to mention. I also am working on establishing a sports center uh, for, you know, a sports center, a state of art sports center and introducing all different techniques and advanced uh, um, uh, 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 trainings and also education that is related to se- uh, well-being and self-awareness. At the same time, again, sports is the new uh, tool, is the, cha- is the tool that is going to change the world because right now, United Nations, they are also emphasizing a lot. We are celebrating the w- International Sports Day on April 6th every year. And the United Nations believe that sports has the power and is the only tool that can help us achieve SDGs. And I think our countries, our part of the world, Pakistan, India, or Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, African countries, we all have to emphasize on sports because we have young generation, 70% of youth. And youth, when we have joblessness, we have power. We have all kinds of troubles. We have, we can't, we can't just, uh, we have lack of re- resources and we cannot give them the proper, um, uh, proper system. What's the best way to, trans, uh, f- uh, to, uh, to go f- um, through this transition is using sports because sports will keep us calm while we move towards that transition towards where we really want to, introduce, when we have all the resources and sport, education and other stuff. Well, Maria, uh, it's really, truly inspiring uh, to get to know you more and the kind of vision that you have. Uh, I would really say that, you know, keep up the good work. Our prayers are with you. And definitely, you know, coming from a place like Waziristan, which normally the world defines with terrorism, uh, with extremism, uh, with all everything that has affected the whole world at at large, uh, you coming out you know, is something absolutely astounding uh, for the world to see and realize. I thank you, uh, Maria, for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard what Maria said. Very, very important points. One, Pakistan's population comprises of over 65% of youth. And that youth it goes into a transition that is filled uh, within the span of time with poverty, with joblessness, uh, with uh, even lack of opportunities, then at that time, that youth can actually transform into something very dangerous and extremist uh, that, that actually may become a very dangerous point for Pakistan to handle. Why? Because the Pakistan's progress and future is in the hands of this particular youth that is 65%. And in that scenario, handling them through sports can not only initiate the best out of their capabilities within themselves, can also let them explore what they actually have that have in them to, to be able to become a good sports person, fit physically, fit mentally, and at the same time, that notion of depression, anxiety, and even anger at times, because when you have not done less opportunities, you look at them and are probably at uh, at, at, at to a certain extent, you come to a hatred level uh, that you know you're not being given that particular opportunity. Sports can cater to all of these things. Maria is a living example of coming out from a place from from where women would not be allowed to even go out of their homes. She came out and she came out came out banging uh, because when she came out, she came out as a boy named Shangiz Khan, and then turned out that she is actually Maria Turpakai Wazir, who is strong, who has a clear mind, who has parents who support her, which is very important, you know, for those areas. You have to have support. But at the same time, the government of Pakistan, and at the same time, all of those people who are doing a transitional phase and progressive phase in that area, especially the tribal areas, they need to realize that there can be many more of Marias coming out of that area that's that's the area of very strong headed people if you give them the right direction they'll they'll turn into gold so we need to take that forward and maria is a living example maria i thank you one more time for being on keeping it real and you definitely kept it real uh, because this story of yours is truly inspiring 
And I'm sure that it is going to inspire many, many more girls to come out in the open, say that they want to be a sports person and that you probably, your organization and your foundation might be right there standing to hold their hand, give them an opportunity to explore themselves in sports. Bring peace, bring progress to the country going forward. Again, thank you so much. I am Hamza Amir from Keeping It Real, and we had this truly inspiring personality, Maria, all the way from Toronto. Maria, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. You take care of yourself.